Good evening, YouTube, and welcome back. Today, uh, I'm going to be taking a look at a brand new to me kayak. I've uh, I've shot this segment so many times already, and uh, I think this time I'm going to try a different approach. I'm, I'm just going to run through it real quick, uh, and then I'm going to use some of the clips that I've already shot of it and uh, see if I can put together a, an introduction to the kayak for you. Um, I've had it out on the water a couple of times now, and uh, well, let's just jump right into it and, and let me show you. This is the Hammerhead Kayaks Bull Shark. It's, uh, I think, a couple inches shy of 12 feet long, 1110 maybe, 62 pounds, 34 and a quarter inch beam. It's got a trunk up front. that uh, has a scupper hole in it. If, uh, if you need to drain, you could use this for storage or for a cooler. Rotary pedal drive. It's got a hatch uh, midships right in front of the seat or uh, I noticed when I've got the seat adjusted to where I can reach the pedals comfortably, the seat is actually about halfway over the hatch here. But this hatch, has a, uh, a small bag that you can put your phone keys, stuff like that in, and also opens up into the hull. So you got a pretty good bit of in-hole storage there. Seat's pretty comfortable, uh, made of, a, uh, of, of a, a mesh material, very breathable. It, uh, it, it adjusts front and back. It does not have a height adjustment on it. Rudder control, molded in cup holder, you have uh, two rod holders up front. They're uh, angled forward and out. And you have two rod holders in the back that are angled aft and out. Uh, pretty generous tank well here. Bungee net over it. Now, once you've got the seat adjusted forward, you actually gain some more space that you can use as tank well if you want. You gain some more storage space right behind the seat here. Uh, front and back each has uh, two handles. It has a, uh, a, a toggle style handle and a, and a fixed grip. Drain plug here. Now one thing about the rudder, see if I can get down here and show you. It's, uh, it's adjustable with these wing nuts. You, if your cables get loose, and, and they always get loose at some point on, on everything, uh, you can just get back here and tighten them up real quick. Also, uh, the uh, steering cables are stainless steel rather than uh, cordage like so many are. The, the uh, deployment rope for the rudder is still cordage. Good size rudder. Jump back up here real quick to the, uh, to the drive. You have a, a tackle tray on the console behind the drive here, molded in cup holder here. And uh, molded in side handles. Got a paddle park on this side. You have uh, accessory rails up forward on each side and uh, aft on each side, and you have accessory rails that the, uh, the seat is, is locked into. Uh, you could actually use the forward part of these accessory rails or the aft part if you're far enough forward to uh, put in things, camera booms or, or whatever you wanted there. Has a, a molded in indent with a, with a uh, threaded inserts. If you wanted to install a trolling motor, they make a trolling motor mount that goes across here and, uh, and locks down so you can control it with the tiller. The uh, rudder control. And uh, foam deck padding uh, to stand up now. I, I took this piece out a while ago, it had come loose a little bit, so I took it out and uh, I'll, I'll get it stuck back down in there in, in uh, short order. But I wanted to show you one thing that this kayak does that not many others do. Let me uh, lift up this drive real quick. By the way, the, the drive feels pretty sturdy. Uh, this is all metal rather than plastic. 
so it's got a pretty sturdy feel to it. It's got a really stout shear pin inside the, uh, inside the hub for the propeller. I think it was about $1,600 as, as is with uh, the drive, the seat, a paddle. Uh, it's got a rod holder inside the trunk. The, uh, the, and a mount for the rod holder so you can put it wherever you want. The rod holder also fits Railblazer mounts. I've tried it on, on my other boats and uh, it's Railblazer. Came with a, with a flag, Yellow Hammer Fishing, Yellow Hammer Kayaks uh, actually owns the uh, Hammerhead brand. I talked with uh, Eddie at Yellow Hammer and uh, they also sell other brands of kayaks. If, if you wanted to look at this or if you wanted to look at a, another brand or compare the two or whatever, and uh, a lot of kayaking supplies and stuff, uh, he's got it. And I'll, I'll show his address again here in, uh, in a little bit. But the greatest feature about this kayak is this thing right here. I, I call it a cartridge. Uh, it's held in. It's got six bolts that are held in. And uh, it actually, you, you take the drive out, take uh, those six bolts out, loosen the screws on this plate. I, I take out three of the screws and leave one in and just swing the plate out of the way. And then this whole cartridge will lift out of the boat. And I'll show you video here for it. Uh, in fact, I'll show you the, the very first time that I ever did this and, uh, and the second time. And, uh, and I'll show you also the times that it took me to do it because it, it goes really quick. But change that cartridge for this one and you can change that rotary drive for this one. So the kayak has the potential to be a, a rotary drive with a propeller. Um, and the, uh, the advantages that that comes with, namely instant reverse. Um, and y y it can also be a fin drive and, uh, with the advantages that that comes with. The, uh, the fin drive is, has a lot more torque. You can generate a lot more speed with it. And I'll show you my speed test that I made my first time out with it also. I'm not doing a, a full review on this kayak just yet. I, I just wanted to introduce you to her and, uh, and let you know that you're going to be seeing a lot more of it over the next couple months because uh, I'm going to put it through the paces and, and then I'll do a full review on it. The Hammerhead Kayaks Bull Shark. Oh, and I, I almost forgot. I, now, like I said, the, the kayak with, with the drive, with one drive, uh, and you have your, your choice. You can pick the fin drive or the rotary drive uh, when you order the kayak. Uh, was it, It's like $1,500, $1, I think, $1,600. And then if you want the extra drive, like I got, uh, the extra drive with the cartridge that goes with it was another $400, $399.99. And uh, that's a great deal. Most of the other manufacturers are charging anywhere from 800 to 1300 for their drives. And then uh, this entire cartridge right here will just pop out. We'll set it aside. And take a similar but slightly different cartridge. Drop it into place. Go ahead and put a couple of these back in just to hold it. Alright, so with the rotary drive out and the uh, and the uh, cartridge for the rotary drive out. You can take a fin drive, drop that into the new cartridge, turn the locks, and now I have a fin drive kayak. So we'll start from scratch, and this will be the second time ever changing this drive out. I did remember to bring a screwdriver with me because we learned 
that we need a screwdriver. Paddle down, set the GPS down. What? Okay. these screws out. that lift out the cartridge drop in the other cartridge put all these back in so I don't lose them. that up there and then we'll just put these bolts back in and we'll be ready to rock and roll
We'll set the console up there with that cartridge. Grab our drive. Since this video has already run way longer than I uh, wanted it to, I'm just going to show you some quick clips of my speed trials on this kayak and I'll give you a rundown of the numbers. On with both drives, just a, a slow, easy cruising pace was, was pretty much the same. It was about 3.1 to 3.2 miles per hour. At a, a moderate pace on both drives, it was around three and a half, maybe a little bit more. And then in the sprint with the rotary drive, I got uh, about four and a half miles an hour, maybe a little bit more. Pedal the fin drive, I, I hit five, and, and uh, on a later test, I actually hit 5.2. So there's your introduction to the bull shark. You're going to be seeing a lot more of her this summer if you keep watching. Uh, I'm going to try to have her out a lot, put her through the paces, see how she holds up. See uh, if it's everything that I thought it would be when I decided that I wanted it. And, uh, and I'm going to put some other people on it and, and get their thoughts and insights on it as well. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one.